Hey friends, my name is Terry Greer. You more than likely don't know who I am. And um, I'm starting a YouTube channel. Well, I already have one, but um, <laughs> I don't really do anything with it. So uh, I'm gonna start one because uh, I'm really going to move into incorporating fasting, the snake diet, and just all around breaking my food addiction. So I want to tell you a little bit about my story. If you found this video, it's more than likely either because you see me on Instagram or uh, you joined an email list that I have that I never write to, which I'm going to start writing to more. And uh, several years ago, I, I wrote this article on Medium called uh, The Sardine Diet. And essentially it was like eat I wonder, I wonder what year that was, 2017, maybe 2016? And it essentially was uh, eat a can of sardines every day, uh, which is like, I didn't even understand what OMAD was at the time. I kind of understood what keto was, and that was my thought is like, hey, that one can of sardines has everything I need, uh, and it's the perfect amount of food. Sardines were perfect because uh, it removes all excuses. There's no cooking. You can keep one with you at all times. All you gotta do is open the, open the can and eat. And it's got plenty of protein and plenty of fat to keep you going, and uh, it's it's like the perfect little 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 tin of food, right? So I thought of I thought of that idea, and to this date, like years later, I, I get people that subscribe back to uh, my email list because of that article, and I always feel bad because I never respond to them. I never send out anything. They don't, they don't email me and ask me what the hell, why, or contact me or anything, or even leave a comment, right? So they probably don't even care. But if you do care, um, I appreciate it. So I wanna tell you a little bit about me, my story, kind of where I'm at and where I'm gonna be heading, and uh, in hopes that uh, we can learn from each other and kind of kind of get to know each other. So I've got my notes. All right, so I did all that, blah, 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 blah. So 2012, I'm gonna put up a picture. In 2012, I was 325 pounds. And I didn't understand keto, I didn't, I didn't understand anything. And I just knew I needed to lose weight. And, and so I started reading books and getting educated and, and gaining knowledge. And essentially I went on, it was Dr. Ron's Rose, Dr. Ron Rosedale's book, um, the, the Rosedale Diet which is essentially a ketogenic, a, a healthy ketogenic diet. Because ketogenic can be bad or can be good depending upon the fats that you eat. So with all that being said, um, I read the book and, and he really touts uh, not eating unless you're hungry, right? Which kind of led me to almost an intermittent fasting, which I didn't even understand what that was at the time, but because I would only eat when I was hungry, sometimes I was doing OMAD, sometimes I'd go a long time without eating, and I went all the way down to 250 pounds. So from 325 to 250, maybe put up another one of those pictures. And then I stagnated for some reason. And that was 2012 to 2013, so I'm talking years and years. And I fell into this cycle, which is what I'm trying to break now. And the cycle is get down to 250, gain 20 or 30 pounds, get down to 250, gain 10 or 15 pounds, get down to 250, gain weight back, over and over and over. And it's, it's, been, it's been hard on me mentally. So for example, August 2018, I was 250 pounds, okay? By January 1st of 2019, I'm 285. Put that picture up there. So I'm 285 in January, and then since January, and today is August 29th or August 30th, I have been, I've just been grinding all year, and I'm right back down at 250. I'm 250, 251, you know, give or take a pound. When, you, when you've got 100 more pounds to lose, you know, a pound, fuck, doesn't even matter for anything. Um, so that's where I'm at, right? So I'm, 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 I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm tired. I'm really, really to the point where I'm tired of being the same. I've been the same now for four or five years and it's annoying. So I've lost 35 pounds this year. I'm excited about that. And so 
time to move to the next level. And, you know, I, I'm aware of and found Fung. I found the snake diet in 2018. I made this big post in 2018 about how I was going to, I was going to do it. I was going to get it done. I didn't get it done. <laughs> FYI, spoiler alert, I didn't get it done. Um, so here I am in 2019. What makes me think I'm going to get it done this time? Well, I stopped drinking alcohol last year. And I'm about a year into my sobriety. And I started and stopped, start and stop, start and stop with my sobriety for two or three years. And one of the things that really made me that I noticed as I was marching towards getting to where I'm, I'm, I'm now been a year sober is that the, the, the window of time from when I would break my sobriety to when I would start another leg of sobriety. So in other words, how long my bender was or whatever you want to call them, right? Um, and they would get shorter and shorter and shorter to where it was like, oh, I had a beer last night. I really didn't enjoy it. I knew better. I didn't, I, what am I doing that for? And I would immediately go back into my sober train, right? So in other words, the window of time wasn't a week, wasn't a month, wasn't three months. It was like, I had a beer, I fucked up. I'm back on the train. And that I'm seeing that same pattern starting to establish itself with the food, with my food choices. When I go bad, I realize that there's no value no value in eating that ice cream. There's no value in having that one cookie or that one piece of bread that I know is a trigger. Because what I'm trying to get to is for me, uh, I'm realizing that I'm a food addict, mainly a sugar addict. And there are certain foods that trigger me. They just trigger me to want, I, you know, willpower is no longer an option when, I, when the trigger happens. So, um, there's this woman named Sasha, Snake Diet Sasha. I'll put a picture up of her, she's so cool. And she started making videos over a year ago when she was very overweight. Uh, and congratulations, Sasha, on doing a kick-ass job and making videos. And my point to is that I used to watch them and they didn't speak to me because I wasn't listening, I wasn't hearing. I didn't want to hear what she was saying, but she talked about her food addiction to McDonald's or uh, any fast food. Thank God I don't have that part of, I mean, I guess I could be addicted, but I don't have that addiction where I, I, I uh, eat a lot of that junk food. My addiction is much more to straight up sugar, which I realize McDonald's is, is pretty much sugar and fat laden, but I'm off track. I went back and been watching some of her videos and she's really speaking to me now about her food addiction. And it goes back to one of the reasons why I turned on this video camera and started uh, recording this is because uh, the power that she had in, in making a video, right, that others could learn from and here it is years later and, and I'm learning from her video and how brave she is to put that out there uh, and to tell her story. And, and the way she tells her story is about as authentic as you can. Like she just, uh, so much of YouTube nowadays, as you know, is just so, uh, you, you look at these quote unquote perfect videos. Don't wanna show off my man boobs too much. Uh, and you know, she just turns on her video camera, her phone, and just is like, hey, this is what I want to talk about today. And uh, I dig it. So my point being is uh, I'm addicted to sugar. And one of the ways I've been thinking through this is like, you know, when you're addicted to alcohol or, or, or any drug, do you moderate off of that drug and be like, well, I'm only going to have one beer a week. And it's near fucking impossible, near fucking impossible, let me tell you. What you do is you go cold fucking turkey. Excuse my Gary Vee language, but it's just the way it is. You go cold turkey. And I'm about to the point to go, uh, I'm not about to, I am to the point, uh, need to change that language in my head, right? I am to the point where I'm going cold turkey. I'm gonna fast, because fast produ fasting produces discipline, fast pr produces autophagy, fasting heals, fasting, generates weight loss. There's all kinds of good things that fasting does. And, and I'm gonna have very strict food rules of what I can eat. I'm not gonna have a list of all the stuff that I, that I, that I uh, I'm not gonna have a big list of all the things that I can't eat. I'm gonna say, when I eat, this is what I eat. 
And I'm going to email this out to you if you want to join my list. Put up the link, Greer. So that, and, and terrygreer.blog uh, is where I'm going to. So I'm basically, if you want to know what's going on Instagram, Terry Greer, put that up there. My blog, I'm going to put some big posts. Not big, but when I do post, uh, terrygreer.blog. I'm going to send out a little newsletter of my weekly updates. That'll be on an email. You can join that list. And then I'm going to have a YouTube video. That's it. So here's my food list. It's written in my list right here. Snake juice. We'll talk about that another time. Just Google that up and you'll learn so much just on reading about snake juice. Sardines. I have a particular kind that I like. Maybe put a picture up. Get them at Costco. The best sardines ever. Uh, love you guys. It's season. Seasons or season? I should I should add them. Uh, if I get tired of eating sardines, I'm going to have wild caught salmon. Uh, Mark Sasson's Primal Mayo. Mix it in with my sardines to make them taste a little better. Dijon mustard. An avocado. I'm not saying I'm eating this at all times, but this is what's on the menu, right? If I am going to eat, this is what my choices are. Uh, avocado. Boiled eggs so I can get some extra choline. I, I, I have a choline issue genetically and then black coffee tea and water no diet soda nothing to trigger my sweet no cream no dairy and no nuts nuts uh, seem to trigger me uh, and I love macadamia nuts I'm gonna I'm I, the first thing I would probably add back as the weight starts coming down is the macadamia nuts the problem is I start eating them and next thing you know you've eaten a thousand calories of nuts literally Macadamia nuts are very, very rich in, in uh, calories. So uh, that's the plan. September, October, that's my, my little my little outline, right? It's basically I'm going to track what my plan is, whether I'm going to fast or not, what I actually did, and then what my weight is. And I'm going to transfer this into my real bullet journal. But this this is what it looks like, right, in my food plan. So you can kind of see. Very simple. Just, just a tracker. And I'm going to have you follow along. And I'm going to share with you what my struggles are and hopefully share with you my successes. So appreciate you being out there and paying attention. And uh, I'll get this, uh, this video out. And uh, let's get going. Today is August 30th, so I'm in preparation mode for September, right? Um, and let's talk about the goal. So I'm two... Let's just say 250, plus or minus. I get I get annoyed with what the number is, but I'm 250 for uh, for sake for just what I'm doing, and I'm going to get down to 170, right? I've got the idea of being 199 before the end of the year, but I got four months. Four months. I should be able to lose. Uh, I should be able to get to 170. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get it done, and uh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's the plan. Future videos, I'll talk about what I'm gonna do for exercise. I'm gonna, I'll might show you some uh, some of my eating, so you can kind of see what I do, that sort of thing. Uh, but what I want to leave you with is that if you have a hundred pounds to lose or more, um, I don't care how old you are. One. Yes, you can do it, right? You can do this. Don't lie to yourself that it won't be better without the weight. It will be better without the weight. You can change your life. Take a step. Step out on faith and do something. You have, if you're watching this, you have YouTube in your hand. You can, you know, I fixed my car and put in a dishwasher because of YouTube and all kinds of crazy, learn to fly fish because of YouTube. You can learn how to recapture your health just with what you got in your hand with YouTube. Uh, I'll do another post down in the future on who I recommend uh, and what I think. But just start looking around and, and uh, just gather some knowledge, make some changes and start moving forward. Join me in my journey. Share with me about what you're gonna do. Love to read about it, love to hear about it. Um, and if you wanna hit, talk to me directly, Instagram is probably the best way. Hit me up, follow me, give me a DM, and we'll chit chat. I will see you on the flip, wishing you the best, and I appreciate the encouragement.